Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so as the title says, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a given vector and turn it into a unit vector. A unit vector is a vector of length one. So what we're doing here is we're given a vector of a certain length and then we're shrinking that vector until it has a length of one. Or if your vector is really tiny, then we're enlarging it until it has a length of one, right? Okay, cool. So that's what we're doing. But what you must understand is that like we're not changing the direction of the vector. We're keeping the vector in the same direction, just shrinking its size until it's a size of one. And I'm going to give you uh, both a, a 2D example and um, explain why the process works in 2D. And of course, in 3D, you just use your imagination or the extension of um, the discussion here and um, you'll be there. Yeah. OK, if you want to know how it works in 3D. Anyway, anyway, um, let's start with this vector V and explain how we make it a unit vector. Um, and this is how. So we take V and divide it by its magnitude or norm or length. Um, and of course, you can think of this as like multiplying the vector V by the scalar one divided by its norm. Um, so if you think of um, one divided by the length of V as a scalar, which it is because the length is a scalar and one is a scalar and so their quotient is a scalar. And then you're multiplying that scalar with the vector V and then that's the same as this here. And by that point, you will have turned V into a unit vector. That is, you will have uh, made a vector in the direction of V, but of length one. Yeah. OK, cool, cool, cool. So let's take this vector V and demonstrate how we'd actually do this in practice. Well, this here is the same as that there. And um, in a previous video on the norm or magnitude of a vector, we'd already dealt with this vector V here. And we know that its magnitude or length um, is root 10. And so 1 over root 10 here is that there. And we're multiplying 1 over root 10, the scalar, to the vector V so that we get this, which is the same as that. And this um, is simple scale, scalar multiplication, which is like we multiply both of these components by the scalar. I have a video out on scalar multiplication, but you just learned what you need to do. So I don't know uh, if you want to watch that video, but you can. Um, it has other things also. Anyway, um, all right, all right. Um, so uh, here, uh, this vector, the unit vector in the direction of V, we have chosen to rename U, and you'll see why I wanted to rename it U. But yeah, it's going to be this here, right? Yeah, you do the scalar multiplication here, and then you get here. So how do we know that this vector u, which is this here, um, is a unit vector? Well, we take its length and then check that its length is 1. Um, and if you don't know how to find uh, the length of a vector, then you should watch my video on the length or norm or magnitude of a vector. So check that out, and I'll try to link it below uh, this video if I remember. But yeah, if we try to find uh, the length of this vector u, then we'd have to square this guy, uh, the horizontal component, and then square the vertical component, and then add them together and take the square root. That's how basically you find um, the length of a vector in 2D. You square both of its components, add them, and then take the square root. Yeah, and that there um, is exactly what I just said. And if we simplify a little bit more, it's simple arithmetic. You could see that our vector u here, which is this here, which is a vector pointing in the same direction as V, but of length one, does in fact have a length of one. Okay, cool. So then now on to the second part of this video, which is explaining why this process works generally. So in general, let's take a vector X uh, with uh, components A and B. Then we know that the way we turn X into a unit vector is by what we just did. And we know from the video on the norm and magnitude of a vector, um, that the length of this vector is the square root of a squared plus b squared. You probably gathered that from what I just said a little bit ago. Um, yeah, and so then 1 over the length of x is going to be 1 over this guy, and so here. And then we do the scalar multiplication, as, just like the example I um, just showed you. And then we get uh, this vector here, which looks like this. And for the same reason as earlier, we called it u. And if I didn't explain my reason, well, you'll see it next which is we have to put um, these absolute value bars around u when we want to mean its length. And so if I kept this and didn't rename it, then I'd have to put absolute value bars around this whole thing, and that'd be cumbersome. But yeah, putting absolute value bars around this whole thing is the same as writing this. And of course, we know how to find 
uh, the length of this vector u, its square, both of its components, and then add them together and take the square root, and that's what you see here. And simplify a little bit more, so do a little bit of algebra, and you get here, and simpl simplify some more, and you get here clearly. In general, it's true that if you divide the vector x by its length, that you've made it a unit vector as we just demonstrated. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. All right, lots more videos on vectors to come, and keep watching. Take care.